Hello, I want to show you a short tech demo about the Gezeiten Ultima Ratio cascading clock. It's a clock divider and a clock generator and a dual envelope generator for the Eurorack system. Uh, we can input nearly every periodic signal into the clock divider. So let's start with a square wave but also a saw wave is recognized, a triangle and even a sign sometimes works. So the clock divider is not very picky about which signal it gets, but obviously a kind of a square wave always works the best. The Ultima Ratio has two independent clock dividers. This is clock divider 1, this is clock divider 2. If you turn the knob, then the clock divider goes through a table of different clock divider ratios. And this LED reflects the setting you dial in here. And the same goes for the second divider, which with an LED which flashes here. Every time a uh, trigger output is generated at those outputs, also an envelope is generated on the outputs below. This is an attack release envelope and you can set the attack time and the release time on those knobs and uh, these are macro knobs so the setting for attack and release uh, is for both of the outputs. The interesting feature of the Ultima Ratio is, uh, is this switch which determines the source signal for the second clock divider. So in this mode the source is the incoming clock from this oscillator. But if you turn the switch the switch, then the source for the second clock divider is the already divided signal from clock divider 1. So the divided signal will be further divided. And this is the reason this module is called cascading clock. Else we have a CV input which accepts positive voltages to kind of automate this first clock divider knob. We have a reset input and a through input. The through input molds the incoming signal, extracts the rhythmical information. So I build a basic patch and uh, play around with the filter modulation. So we take an oscillator Put it in the filter. Filter output goes to an amp. Already amazing sound. I take an envelope from the Ultima Ratio in the CV of the filter. Even more amazing. Clock divider 2. I set clock divider 1 as source for clock divider 2. Take this second envelope. Put it in this second CV input. Already charted. The envelope attack and release. Mm. 
I take the clock from clock divider one and clock a sequencer. CV out into a quantizer. This is optional, but always nice. CV out from the quantizer. Look into the pitch. There you get it. And because I cannot take the other clock and sync the second sequencer, and I take the CV out of the second sequencer, I don't know how to modulate. Stuff on the <laughs> digital oscillator. Okay, you, you can, you might get what's there. Or I don't use the second sequencer and modulate the module directly with the Ultima Ratio. So this is a great uh, source for modulation also because it's always uh, rhythmic. For more extreme effects, we go into FM. <laughs> okay. Synchronization is always a tough issue. And the Ultima Ratio can help you there to I uh, want to synchronize bass drum, snare drum modules to an electron octatrack. And um, this, this is connected uh, to this uh, MIDI interface. And um, yeah, you hear, a snare, uh, you hear a hi hat sound from the octatrack and the MIDI clock, which you can take from the module, put it in the Ultima Ratio. You should always uh, patch the reset output of your MIDI module to the reset input. Yeah. And I already seen it. It will be working great. We go from the clock trigger into our bass drum module. And clock divider two into snare. Boo. When no cable is plugged into the in socket, the Ultima Ratio works as a clock generator. You can put the cable into the full output socket and um, yeah, synchronize a sequencer module like this grids. And now clock generator, clock divider knob one works as a tempo, as a tempo knob. This is a normalization.
yeah, and still you are able to use uh, divider 2 uh, and trigger other fun stuff. Or other sequences. You can make wild things with a CV input on Ultima Ratio in this case uh, I'm triggering an oscillator and a filter and uh, I use the clock output of the Ultima Ratio to trigger an additional envelope on a mass and uh, the return signal of the mass I put in Ultima Ratio's CV input yeah and then strange rhythmical things uh, begin to develop of course in conjunction how you set envelopes um, mostly you can go into random stuff mode very quickly but typically it's always kind of rhythmic the ultima ratio can go into audio territory so if you uh, Put an envelope and put it directly into your amp and modulate it. Externally. Well, you have a really bad digital <laughs> oscillator too. So thanks a lot for watching, the Ultima Ratio is a really nice module, check one out if you get the chance, bye. Mm, mm, mm.